I'm Kimberly Kay with your entertainment report from ManhattanNews.com. Homeland leaves Mad Men in the dust, taking over as best drama. Mad Men was not only denied a record-setting fifth best drama Emmy trophy, but it walked away without a single trophy after 17 nominations. Wow. Homeland took six trophies, including Best Acting Honors for Damian Lewis and Claire Danes. Backstage, Danes said she especially appreciates one viewer. She says it's way cool that President Obama has said he's a fan of Homeland. She says it speaks to the relevancy of the show. Lewis says he didn't expect to beat Brian Cranston, who had won the Best Actor in the Drama Emmy for Breaking Bad. The three previous years, Aaron Paula Breaking Bad won Best Supporting Drama Actor. Maggie Smith won as Best Supporting Actress for Downton Abbey. Modern Family has its third straight Emmy Award as Best Comedy, although there was a minor backlash online as some Emmy watchers questioned whether the show had a deserving season. Ouch. Among its five Emmys are supporting acting awards for Eric Stone Street and Julie Bowen, who are competing against all the other adult cast members. Their show beat out two freshman series from HBO, Girls and Veep. But Veep star Julia Louis-Dreyfus took home the Emmy for Best Actress in a Comedy, and John Cryer unexpectedly won the Emmy for Lead Actor in a Comedy Series, a category he moved to after Charlie Sheehan left the show. Sharon Stone helped raise more than $1.1 million for AIDS research at a charity auction in Italy hours after a brief trip to a hospital during Milan's Fashion Week. According to the charity, Stone was having migraine-related symptoms after the Fendi runway show on Saturday night and was examined as a precaution and was given a clean bill of health. Well, Billy Joe Armstrong of Green Day is going into rehab after a profane rant at the iHeart Radio Music Festival in Las Vegas Friday. Armstrong complained on stage that their time was being cut short and got so angry that he smashed his guitar into smithereens. The rest of Green Day started smashing instruments too. Green Day have issued an apology and say their set was not cut short. It's not clear what Armstrong will receive treatment for. He was hospitalized earlier this month while on tour in Bologna, Italy for an undisclosed ailment. And Green Day will release Uno, the first album in a trilogy, today with the second in November and the third in January. In local entertainment news, a lively early evening of words featuring Donald Lev, Dean Chamba, Chris Wood, and Patricia Martin is all happening this Saturday, September 29th at 7 p.m. at the Inquiring Mind Bookstore. They're located at 66 Partition Street in Saugerties. That's your latest entertainment report for a new update daily. Log on to MidHudsonNews.com. I'm Kimberly Kay.